Good morning, welcome aboard the Vagabond. Today is gonna be another scorcher. It's only 8 a.m. and it's already too hot to be wearing clothes. I um, actually slept in this morning because I didn't get to bed till like 3 a.m. because the mosquitoes have been attacking me and I've had to sleep with this mosquito net, <laughs> which just suffocates you. Yeah, it doesn't like to stay like tucked into the sides, so it ends up just like suffocating me in there. But I'm gonna stop complaining about the heat because we are going swimming today. It's summertime and living is easy. Good morning everyone. This morning we're gonna go spearfish a wreck which is very close by and then we're gonna go and take what I've provided for my family. So confident And Ralph. go and cook it on the beach over here. Pressure's on. And uh, I wanted to just touch base on a few annoying little comments that have been creeping in from people who we would otherwise, how would you explain this Alona? People whose opinions that I generally enjoy who are writing in without thinking, I think, at the moment. Without mincing any words, it's, uh, generally going to be vegans or vegetarians and or even just environmental people who aren't you know haven't gone that whole way to to being a vegan or a vegetarian and they're just saying you're like maybe we shouldn't be promoting eating fish at all so for those people to be criticizing elena and i if you're going to be doing it not from a glass house. You need to be living in the woods with no internet, so you couldn't have even replied anyway. Growing your own vegetables. Not driving a car to work. Not certainly not driving a car and and doing all of these sorts of things. And th these aren't. There's not like a lot of spite in these comments, but I just wanted to. There's enough quantity that I thought it would be worth mentioning that. But at least you guys are thinking. More annoying than that is like, oh. Riley's a bit skinny, you better get a steak in the wind. Because at least I, I don't feel like those people have like even had a think about the world at all. Whereas at least your yeah, vegetarians and your vegans are having a bit of a think about it. Anyway, we'll go on fishing. Yeah. Good morning to you. <laughs> Probably the best thing about lifting the fender up is you can pack it like this. He said I should pass, man. Just enough cash to last. Maybe he really. Well, if you've only eaten some steak, he would have been able to undo that better. Do you have my mask? I've got everything. Fresh morning air. <laughs> smells good. What a lot of you might not know is that spearfishing is the most selective, sustainable form of fishing that exists. Riley! Hello! Yeah. What do you got us for lunch? That's my boy. That is a permit. We're going to be able to feed the whole neighbourhood. It's massive. It's pretty <laughs> big, isn't it? So obviously I'm pretty happy. I uh, managed to get my fish. It took longer than I would have liked. But um, and it's probably a little bigger than we need. But we'll, I'm gonna, that's why I'm going to fill it some. I thought that I'd get something that we could just put on the fire. But um, I'll have to fill it that. Between you, me and Elena, we should uh, have our bellies full. So I've just packed everything I'll need for the beach. I made some salads, we've also got some vegetarian sausages and some potatoes to stick in the coals, which are gonna be amazing. Sweet potatoes and butter. You always gotta have lots of butter with that. All right, now Stefan's made an appearance in this vlog. He hasn't yet. An appearance? Yeah. You're always behind the camera, but no one oh. ever sees you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 
I need to cut that. That was horrible. <laughs> Stefan doesn't like the camera. <laughs> this is why he's never on film. The best part is you don't need shoes. Feelings had changed. You tipped your hat and called it a day. So I feel like I probably alienated every demographic that follows Sailing with Vagabond, which wasn't really my intention. I just wanted to explain those particular comments that had been creeping in. That was one of the reasons that I got the boat in the first place for a bit of freedom and to, you know, maybe one day make my way back to Australia or somewhere near there and have a go at this uh, trying to live off the land business. I'd like to point out just exactly how difficult it is to spear a fish, especially with a pole spear. For starters, you're in their environment, so you're underwater, so there's a very limited amount of time. I certainly find it very difficult. So you've got to dive down, you can't look at them, you can't look at the fish or it'll swim away. Sometimes they just do that anyway. So half the time you're swimming down, you've got to bury your head in the sand and then throw sand up that's like around you and entice the fish in to come and look at you. They've got to play the game for you to get even anywhere near them. I'm using a pole spear, which is incredibly primitive. So I, I think I said before that it's just good when people are thinking. Anyway, that's just what we're doing. We're just sort of going around and just trying to live and survive and do our own little thing. We obviously do put it on the internet and invite that sort of commentary, but I feel like we do need to explain ourselves a little bit at times. Hope I haven't insulted anyone. That wasn't what I was trying to do as he backpedaled. Well, I'm about a thousand degrees hot, but everything's on fire. Now we have to wait. I'm so excited for these potatoes. There's a lot of fish there. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's for both of you, obviously. <laughs> Stefan ate some of this, man. Amazing. <laughs> it tastes like smoke. Yeah. There's lemon. Don't forget the lemon. <laughs> it's a bit over, it's over mm. but it's nice. Well, that's it, folks. We're very happy chappies right now. Very, very nice. All right, I'm going to say goodnight to you guys here because I've got a mountain of dishes to do. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked the episode. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. And we'll see you guys all next week. <laughs>